Hello guys, this is Mike from McProgramming.org. We are going to talk about for loops, and for loops are best used when we have to go through some type of sequence. And since we haven't really talked about sequences yet, what I'm going to show you with the for loop is just to introduce you to how it functions, is we're going to just count a little bit. So let's just say we can count from 1 to 10, or we can count uh, to 50 multiples of 5, so for instance 5, 10, 15, 20, something like that. So the way that a for loop is structured is we're going to use the keyword for and then we're going to have some type of variable name which will be set each time that we loop through this. So I'm going to give it a uh, iteration variable and I'm going to call it i. That's a very common um, index variable and then we're going to say n and this is usually our sequence object but we're going to iterate through what's called a range function and what a range function is is it returns uh, pretty much what it sounds like the range of numbers so let's just type that out real quick so it's range and then in parentheses what we're going to do is we can put in a, a different a couple different types of parameters one, if I wanted to just put 10, this holds values, uh, 10 values, and by default it's going to start at 0 and go all the way up till 9. So if I wanted to print 0 through 9, what I'll do is make sure you end that with a colon, hit enter, and if you're not in the Python shell, make sure that you tab over. So that is how Python reads what's inside the for loop and when the for loop is over. So what we can do now is just print i. So print i and hit enter twice and we get 0 through 9. Alright, so now if I wanted to be more precise and I didn't want that 0, I wanted to go 1 to 10, what we can do is we can say for i in range. Now we can give it a starting number, 1, and a ending number, but it won't stop there. So or it won't be included in the range. So what we want to do is go one above uh, what we want to do. So let's go to 11. Now colon. And now what we do is print out i again. So print i. Hit enter again. And we get that 1 through 10. So remember that this number should always be 1 greater than uh, the number that you want to achieve. So let me show you some other nifty things we can do. We can also say for for i in range and I'm going to start at 10 and I want to go to 0. Well I don't want to go to 0, I want to go to 1 but we're going to count backwards 10 to 1 this time. And our third parameter will be uh, a negative 1 okay so up here by default it was 1 so it increased by 1 every time now we explicitly told it to subtract by 1 every time alright so add a colon and after that we can say print i and we should get 10 9 8 7 so on all the way to 1 and we did so now that we can do this negative 1 there's other things we can do as well so let's just say for i in range, and I am just going to say, let's just say 0 to uh, 20, and I want to include 20, so I'm just going to put like 21 or something like that. Anything higher than 20, that's fine. If you put 23, actually 22 will be included, so I'm just going to put a 21 for now, and I'm going to put a 2, and that means that I'm adding 2 every time we loop through this. So, colon, print, i, and if you hit enter again, we get 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, all the way to 20. So if you can kind of see the pattern right there, that's going to be our starting value, that is going to be our ending value, not included, and this third parameter right here will be how much we add to i every time that we go through this. So we're starting at 0, we print out i, and then we add 2 to i. So this becomes 2, or i becomes 2, and we print that out, and so on. So 4, 6, all the way to 20. And since 20 is less than this 21, we're still going to do it. If it was 20, we wouldn't print out 20. So 
that is the basic idea behind a for loop and we're just using it on this range function in a few tutorials from now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it sequence uh, or iterate through a sequence and also through strings and things of that nature so that becomes very useful in programming so thank you guys for watching please subscribe below and continue to watch these videos thank you guys very much